You're watching VTV. Coming up next on VTV. You have seen great adventures. Now you're about to live one. Damnation Alley. Everything man remembers is gone. Everything he has achieved is forgotten. Every place he has lived has become a wasteland, desolate, barren. And these five survivors may be the only humans left alive. Together, they will attempt a journey into the unknown. Only their courage and the instinct to live could carry them safely through the hell that lies ahead. The devastation of man. And the mutations of nature gone wild. Well, the trick of it all was what made it quite unique and different was twisting it right in the middle of the whole section of, of back and front. That's what was the whole trick of the whole vehicle. Because it twists left or right, really wrap around something. And at the same time, it twists in and out. So it, as you hit a big hole on the left, it would raise on the right. It would just switch back and forth as you hit big holes or twins or flip around corners or anything. I started to try to get into the movie work was one of the things I wanted to crawl up that ladder a long, long time ago because I'd born and raised in Linwood, California. So I worked my way and got up into the Hollywood area. And from there, I started trying to get into the movie work and stuff. So it's a hard thing to climb up them ladders and to know those people and deal with the things. But I always wanted to try to build different, neat, and only people in the movies can do things like that. People don't want to spend that kind of money or business-wise or anything. So that was just the kind of the story. I was, like I say, just started as a mechanic with my dad in Linwood and from there crawled up them ladders and from there trying to get into the movies and TV stuff. Well, it's a great ring. Tell us all the secrecy about these damn things. Off limits to unauthorized personnel. Well, how about let me dig it for a while now? Well, what I was doing, because I was building the complete vehicles and things like that for cars, from roll cages to do stunt work and doing everything, I don't know how I ended up dealing with the people who are getting my name in it and stuff, but I did, and they brought me right in, and all they had was a sketch of what they wanted to have in this movie, in this vehicle. So from that, we just discussed back and forth and talked. From there, I was lucky in my life to learn how to do artwork because I could hardly spell my name. I'm not very good at that, <laughs> but I could do my artwork. So I kind of designed along the times of the whole, whole vehicle and everything. This vehicle was a complete different type of functional vehicle because it turned in the middle. It didn't turn left and right and forward to left and right and backwards and all that stuff. This turned right straight in the middle and the whole vehicle twisted right in the section. And from that is how it turned. It had 12 wheels on it. These were three wheels on each section and they can turn the whole thing. There was absolutely no other way than the wheels itself flipping. There was no springs, no shocks, no nothing like that. But yet we could hit a, I'd say a six foot rock or something, 
and this thing could walk right over the top of it. Because of the design that we ended up doing, how I could function this thing t to do what it had to do, and it walked from wheel to wheel, and you don't even feel it. You could go 50 miles an hour and hit it, and you don't, don't feel it at all. You wanna drive this rig? You think I could? Try. You know what? It, it, we are very, very lucky, I guess. Um, for what we had to do in the, into the rough terrains, I mean, it had to float, it had to go out to the dry lakes, it had to go right down through a city. We did an awful lot, of, a lot right out in the desert, too. We was out in Las Vegas, way out there, and also out in the Grand Canyon. We had to go and they allowed us to do some of them things that you couldn't touch one of those rocks or anything there because it's history. I mean, extremely history stuff. For us to be able to drive down through there, the, the, the head people just said, whatever you do, do not touch one of those pieces of rock or that hill or anything. Do all you want, but do not touch any because you'll have to quit filming. That's as simple as that. And it was quite a deal. We was lucky, we did, didn't hit nothing. Well, I would say one of them that was quite rough, we were clear at the top of a hill and we had to come down that hill at a, at, as fast as we could go, and that was 55 miles an hour, down a hill. At the same time, we had to take a curve and we had to go over some rocks. We had to hit some holes. We had to do a whole bunch of things. The biggest amount of thing that happened was it took one of the tires and knocked it loose and we had a flat tire, but we fixed it. Other than that, nothing. Nothing quit on, hurt on the car all the way, vehicle through the whole movie. Well, there was three miniatures that we did a lot where it was supposed to float because when you're getting 22,000 pounds and make it float, pretty hard to do, it's all steel. So that was a very, very trick thing to make that thing do that big, big section where it's supposed to float. That was a hard part, a very hard part. It was a great one. I was very, very happy to get into that thing and to build it and everything. What was the big thing that kind of knocked the socks off me? Steve McQueen was supposed to do that movie, and he wanted two million bucks to do it. Well, it wasn't that time then. You didn't get that kind of money. So that's how he walked away from it. And he is a very good friend of mine. He come to my shop a lot and right up to the end with him. He. Super, super nice guy. I just yapped at him, told him, that's wrong. Give him, cut off some of that money and take this thing, do it, because we'll have fun. He says, no, that's what it is. <laughs> you know, I haven't for years. I have everything, though. I kept all the photos, the pictures, the movies, everything that it's been in. I did a lot of commercials with it. I did uh, just plain little TV type movie things. Um, one was a guy with a newspaper that would deliver newspapers on people's houses. He used that as a guy, instead of a bicycle, he'd come by with the landmaster to throw the newspaper. That's the kind of things that they made then. One wasn't really neat, right? but it worked and that kept going. I did some alterations and changes and painted it different colors, made other parts of the body different trying to make it use again and try to make some dollars with it and stuff. But when you're doing a big feature movie thing like that, now it becomes the Landmaster. That's where it stays. People always will know that. But to try to get into things like that and either be a big movie or a big TV show, it doesn't very seldom ever happen. So I did for years and years. And Finally, this guy been wanting to buy it from me for years and years. Finally, he says, "Okay, you got it." And one day, <laughs> so he come and 
he took it, it's up by San Francisco, and I use it for shows and stuff like that. In order to do something like that, I was very proud of myself to be able to do it. Not saying I was great or did something. I just am happy that I got to do that and then to try to do something that's unique and different. Nobody had built a vehicle like that. It was kind of a neat thing. Our feature presentation. Sergeant. How you doing, Keegan? Oh, fantastic, man. I got a leave coming up. Yeah, where you going? Well, I don't know yet, but it's going to be someplace very green. Well, I can see you're not carrying any booze or women or animals on your person, which is as it should be. Well, that's a new one. Uh-huh. You got old Joe Bradley pretty good. Yeah, I did catch him a little bit, didn't I? You know something? You're the one I can't catch, Major. That's because he's so shifty. Now, how long would it take to do a portrait in oils? Well, about a week of preliminary sketches and a month of uh, painting. You want to be immortalized by me, Major? No, not me. I just want to give my wife an anniversary present. You're going to have a nude done? As a matter of fact, I can give you a great deal on a nude. <laughs> But if you're serious, I'd be happy to. Well, we'll see what she says when she comes back from Chicago. Okay. Shall move, Major. Mm -hmm. Bishop to Queen Four. Bishop? Oh, you poor fool. Bishop to Queen Four. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you, sir. He's a pretty good artist. Yeah, I don't know what the hell he's doing in the service. I think I should mention I've applied for a roster change. Oh? Why is that? I just think we're not temperamentally suited as a work team. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Unless you subscribe to the conspiracy theory, you're just going to have to believe you don't meet specifications. Whose specifications, sir? Mine. Thanks for telling me. At least I can plan my future. Good morning. Good morning. Got hot coffee and sandwiches. Captain. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Same to you. Should I run a modular check? That's what we're here for, isn't it? Step one. A satellite re-entry to me. It appears to be a burnout. Negative on satellite. Blue square one. Blue square one. Blue square one. Red talon copy blue square one. Break, break. Part one. Three. Charlie. Alpha Foxtrot. Tango. Part two. Tango. Alpha. Charlie Delta, X-Ray Oscar, Part 3, 04, 2346, Authentication Sierra Alpha. I have a valid message. I agree. Multiple warhead strike confirmed. Retaliatory strike on advisement. Contact at 265, heading 85 degrees. They're unknown. Jesus. Arm all missiles. All missiles. Armed. Positions at 051015. Zulu, Zulu, Whiskey 4. M1 alert, 1. Confirmed hostile. Hostile. Hostile missiles heading to major U.S. population targets. Boxtrot call. 420. 300 interceptors airborne. Confirm. Interceptor missiles launch in progress. 300 interceptors airborne. Flight select switch to all. Flight select switch all. PLCA launch option switch to 99. PLCA option switch 99. All CBM prepared to cop. Alert 05. Launch retaliatory missiles. Five. All enemy targets. Right away. Hotel Alpha Roberts 25 unknown. Ready for launch. Insert keys. Inserted. Rotate on my command. 3, 2, 1. Rotate. 1, 2, 3. Release. Getting launch indications. I have missile away light on LFC five.
Flat Charlie. Ten missiles. Launch in progress. Confirm. Intercept. Effected. Estimate only 40% enemy missiles destroyed. Missile strikes confirmed. Boston. Philadelphia. Trenton. Washington, D.C. Detroit. Pittsburgh.
Hey, Keegan. You notice anything different? Hey, Tanner, who's that you got on the back, man? Founder in Barstow. Talk to her into being your next model, buddy. Ah, damn. You want us to come out and give you some cover? Ah, oh, you just watch my style, son. you can do for her what the hell are you talking about man she was oh. <laughs> tell you key i think i've finally gone over the edge yeah i come back from barstow with that dummy behind me talking to her the whole way I swear, I even stopped the bike and kissed her. Oh. That's crazy, ain't it? Well, I don't know about crazy, but the show was selfish. Well, you sure took your time. Yeah, sorry, I had to go see General Landers. Yeah. Well, you owe me 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Jesus. Well, you... What's the big deal about 20 minutes? Never mind what the big deal about 20 minutes is. They're mine, and I want them. Okay, okay. Weirdo. How far do you think we'll get? Depends on the conditions we find. You know, that, that thing's never really been tested. Tanner says he's been as far as Phoenix. Give me a 316. You believe that? Yeah, he might have. He's crazy enough. Why did he quit the service? Tom, why don't you go see if that one fits? Yes, sir. Signed authorization, General Landers, and we can go. If you don't mind my saying so, sir, I don't think the general really knows what's going on. I mean, he just sits in that control room every day and, and drinks. He's our CO. We start taking off when we feel like it. This place will collapse in a month. But you're right, Tom. Landers is gone. Smoke coming from 
days and I can still smell the smoke. Nobody made it. I know. Poor bastards. Maybe they're better off out of it. I don't agree with you, Jack. You two gonna continue your life of nonconformity? You wanna come along with us? Just so I don't have to re-enlist. No, Tanny, you don't have to re-enlist. As long as it's clear, I'm in charge. Well, that's a mighty subtle difference. But if you're coming, get your stuff together. Keegan, you ride with Perry. Tanner, you go with me. Eugene's still giving orders. Landmaster 2. Landmaster 2 to Landmaster 1. Over. Keep visual contact. We will halt at 1,200 hours. Roger. relations there? It's the only place we ever got a signal from. <laughs> the 
Think we can make it there in these things? We sure can't make without them. Albany is the place to aim for. Sort of the objective of the operation, huh? Ain't to call it that. Yeah. Hey, there's a... There's a way across. Well, not really a way across. But the screens show it to be the path of least resistance. It's not good. It'll best be gone. What happens if we make a wrong turn? There are areas of radiation we couldn't get through. It's not a matter of wrong turns. Damnation Alley is nearly 100 miles wide a lot of the way. Damnation Alley? Who named it that? I did. <laughs> I believe there's a bit of the swashbuckler in you after all, Major. Well, this is a great rig. Tell us all the secrecy about these damn things. Off limits to unauthorized personnel. Well, how about let me dig it for a while now? It's about time you started earning your keep. Ready? Yep. You got it. Now, there's a the tachometer. The rest of it's just like your family car, except there's a manual override and transmission. Go ahead, give us some gas. Some juice in the bottom end, don't it? She will go. This machine can handle a 60 degree incline, can operate in water, has a cruising speed of 60 miles an hour, has three separate drive sources, and can operate with either the front or rear wheels out of action. How's it do on gas? Why did you two guys quit the Air Force? What Air Force are you referring to? Well, the service, then. Well, I mean, after the bombs fell, it didn't seem to me to make much sense to keep on doing all those duties and fatigues and saluting and serin. What do you think would have happened if we'd all felt like that? Well, if more people had felt like that, there'd be a hell of a lot more people feeling and thinking. And playing baseball and singing and um, making love and raising babies. And... Hey, why don't you just call me when you want me to drive this mother? Yeah. Try not to get lost. I can follow this thing? The uh, machine will do it all its own. 6.5 and 15.10. You just hang on and the wheel make it look good. Now, hit it northeast on that compass. You get a green light. Yeah? Yeah, now you got it. Now, you get off course, you're gonna get a red light. Just turn it back, you get a green. Think you can handle that? Sure, who couldn't? Yeah. Trolley. We ought to put up a sign saying, Damnation Alley, en route to Albany. Lewis stops at Las Vegas and Salt Lake City and other scenic turnouts. If you need me, call me on the intercom. That's a big 10-4. Western music anymore. No XERB. Not even any Reverend Ike. I was standing by my window on a cool and cloudy day when I saw. What's your message, Landmaster One? Over. Seeing you, sinners. Come on. 
Will a circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord. By and by. There's a better home awaiting. In the sky, Lord, in the sky. I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt you two sons of the pioneers to speak to Major Denton, over. He's asleep. What you need, come on. Well, there's a... There's a trace up ahead on the TV screen. What's it look like? Come back. I don't know. But it's big and it's moving. Take it easy, Lieutenant. I can see it. Looks like some kind of storm. Operational procedure is to dig in and let it pass. See you on the other side. Damn him! Now, you see this thing digs itself in because I don't have to go out there with no shovel. Pretty good, pretty lucky, and pretty stupid. You should have followed Perry's instructions and dug in. You're gonna do things my way, or you're gonna walk. Landmaster 1 to Landmaster 2, over. Landmaster 2 to Landmaster 1, come in. Landmaster 2 to Landmaster 1, come in. Landmaster 2, this is Landmaster 1. Have you got a copy? Come back.
I came from. There it is. It doesn't look good. Or backwards. Is it broken? I don't think so. It'll be all right. Uh, Perry's dead, isn't he? Got to move some gas and supplies. I need your help. You don't feel like admitting you're wrong, do you, Major? Now, don't make something personal out of this, Tanner. Perry's dead. It doesn't mean you're right and I'm wrong. It means Perry's dead. Broadcasting that same message for two years. Nothing more, nothing less. Why nothing more? It's a tape. A program to go out the same time every week. What's it supposed to mean? It means that after the bomb, there were some people alive, and they got enough power to broadcast. You mean we're liable to go all the way to Albany and just find some little bitty computer in a great big old empty building? I don't know what we're going to find, but getting there is the only way we'll ever know. Daytime kind of looks like Barstow with a high rise. <laughs> hey, that's Circus Circus. Why don't we stop? All right. Oh, we'll get you a new feather for your hat. <laughs> Boy, nothing changes. Bomb or no bomb, the lights never go out in Vegas. Hey, Tanner. Want to play a little blackjack? You're on. Oh, all right. Here's my hand. All right. Again. Hit you again, all right. There you are. I'm gone. <laughs> How's Wiz? As usual. Uh -huh. Hey, look at here. Somebody ran off without their winnings. It must be a first for Vegas. You know, they had to be in a hurry. Hey, look at that, man. Yeah? On a nickel. Yeah. Come on. Mike, you just need that magic touch, baby. <laughs> hey, Major, face up here. Oh, yeah. yeah, go ahead, Major. What you got to lose? Except his money.
Hey, that was my payoff. Yo, she got to be here to collect you, man. I'm a nickel. I'm not getting my full payoff. Ain't that just our luck? The major knows her. <laughs> You're doing just fine, darling. Don't stop now. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> playing here for almost a year and I was writing songs and trying to get them to the stars who came to Las Vegas. I wasn't succeeding. The manager, he said he would help me. He said he knew Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, it's a very pathetic story. But who knows? Maybe he was a very close friend. I never found out. He brought me down to the fallout shelter so I could do him a favor for the favor he was going to do for me. And just after I had done my part, the bombs came. So I have decided I wasn't meant to be a star. Do you not think that was sensible of me? What about this guy, the uh, manager? What happened to him? Alex. He was very unlucky. He could not accept that it had happened. Never. He would wake up in the mornings and believe things were all right. Then remember. He had a heart attack. He died in about six months. At first, I used to hear planes and cars, and one night I woke up, I heard a bell on a bicycle. I ran out looking for it. I don't want to cramp your style, miss, but I don't think you'll need most of those clothes. We don't have that kind of room. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to forgive me. It's, it's such a long time since I left on a trip. Oh, just one suitcase would do, and, and I suggest uh, T-shirts and jeans. Try to go over the Rockies. You mean the Rocky Mountains? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, wonderful. <laughs> uh, 
posted a shower schedule to uh, help conserve water and generally straighten out who goes when and give you some privacy. So I'm happy to say we can all have a shower once a week whether we need it or not. Hey, Jake, look at this. Ah, don't worry about them. Their troubles are all over. I can just imagine them coming back from the supermarket. But there's something about these skeletons, Major. What? Well, I mean, they're awfully clean, like they've been polished almost. Well, they've been there two years. I know that, but the doors are still closed. We're gonna go to town, see if we can pick up. What are we gonna do with that crowbar? You gotta have a credit card when you go shopping, Major. <laughs> She'll be all right with him. Well, of course she'll be all right with him. Just what is it exactly that you have against him? I don't hold anything against him. I just don't think he's reliable. Armor-plated cockroaches. I suppose there's a restaurant down there? I'll get the hose.
This is Denton. This whole town is infested with killer cockroaches. Repeat, killer cockroaches. No kidding. No! No! Hey, Denton, we're on the top floor of Gregory's department store. We're going out the window. There's some kind of a parking lot across the way. I'm on my way to your location. On my way to your location. Hang on, baby! Come on out! We're not gonna hurt you! Come on out, kid! Come on, kid, play fair! It's all right, son. We aren't going to hurt you.
me. You want to see me get whipped by a kid? Easy now, son. Easy. We're not going to hurt you. After my mom died, me and my pa just started moving around. No place special. We just moved. Kept moving for a long time. And you didn't see anybody else? After what happened to my mom, me and my pa stayed well hid. What about your father? What happened to him? He broke his legs. Fell down a cliff and broke both of them. Oh, what did you do? Sat with him till he died. How long ago was that? Around four moons, as near as I can recollect. I know my hair grew quite a piece. And he's been wandering around ever since? Well, don't do no good just sitting still. We're going all the way across country in that machine out there. You're welcome to go with us so we can give you some supplies and leave you here. Whatever you like. Any more of that? Oh, yes. Sure. That bike you chased me on, is it hard to learn? Not especially. I'll go with you if you teach me to ride. You got a deal. So what's going to happen? Nothing. This is it. This is how things are going to be. Billy, with all those explosions, they, they knock the world off its axis. What's its axis? Kind of like it's center. Yeah, something like that. And if it comes back, everything could come back to normal. Well, would it take another explosion to do that? Straighten it up? I don't know. It could do it all by itself. Nothing good ever just happens by itself. No matter how much you want it to. You got to make it. Drive this rig? You think I could? Try. Come on, we'll do it together for a while. Get a little wheel. out in the middle of nowhere. It could be he's got some gas still in his tank. All right, folks, we got a 10-minute refueling stop. 
stop. Refreshments and restrooms available. Should be a generator. Let's look out back. that thing fired up? I doubt it. Fellas, been mighty fancy looking machine you got out there. Where are you headed for? Making for Albany. How long have you men been around? Since everything went to hell. There used to be more of us, now there's less. All the dead are dead, and all the living are dying. It goes for you as well. Well, is there anything we can do for you before we move on? <laughs> well, let me check. How about it, boys? Anything you got a mind for? <laughs> I know. You can show us around that machine of yours. General, we like that. The boy and the little lady can stay here, can rest. Maybe the little lady will play some more. That was real nice. Why don't you play something for me? What do you want me to play? I don't care. Just play something. And keep on playing. Oh, 
boy. Come here. Stand over there by your mom. She ain't my mom. And you ain't my pa. I don't have to stand anywhere. It's gonna go bad for him when I get him. You better call him back in here. Billy! Billy! Come back! Can I just have one more sucker, please? I won't tell your friends. <laughs> you say you're going to Albany? That's a fair ways. Hey, you get back in there. That guy sent me out. He said he wanted to be on his own with my ma. Hey, Damn it. Hey, come on, let's... I'll take care of this. You keep an eye on these two. Come on, boy. I want to be with my pa. Let him stay here. What about that friend of yours and my wife, huh? Take it easy, mister. He ain't doing anything we ain't all going to be doing. He's just doing it in the wrong order. LCA 9-9. Agree. Keep her from welding up. I'm losing the gear in the rear end. Take it to uh, 0, 015 degrees north. Yeah, she'll get what we need up around Detroit. 
You can get spare parts for this thing? It's designed to use spare truck parts. Semi, give me what I need. Now keep it under 40. Things will ever get back to normal. Who knows, Billy? We're not looking so bad right now, though. Still got food and drink, fireworks in the sky. Hell, who knows? Old Denton can keep that thing running. We might just make it someplace. Where? Albany? Doesn't really matter. I hereby declare this park a national monument. This one looks all right. Tana, I need your help. Hey, do you hear that noise? What about it? I don't know. It's like a whining or an engine somewhere. I don't know. I have never seen so many cars before. That's your heritage, Billy. What's heritage? That's why people leave other people after they find out it don't work. That noise is getting louder. Listen, I gotta go help Denton. Don't you wander off. This place is full of wildlife. Full of wildlife? Yeah, they got wildcats, barracudas, mustangs, cougars, impalas. Place is a gosh dang zoo.
shake. Hang on. In the engine compartment. Yeah, there's water coming in back here, too. Are we gonna sink? Not this vehicle's designed to float when she's half full of water. How about when it's all full? Let's not think about that. You get on this thing with me. Janice, hold this. Donna, you got that bike fixed yet? Yeah, I'm just cleaning the plug. Well, hurry up. I got to get on it and take my trip. Like hell, you are. I'm the only one that's going to ride this bike. 
Turn on. Broadcasting its daily program to whoever is out there. We're on the air daily at noon with music and informal programming. Our transmission on 720 kilocycles will continue after a two minute pause for any incoming broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> I get the distinct impression of a tall redhead, about 25. What if she's 65? Well, I'll live with it. Hello. Hello, Miss Albany. We read you. Do you read us? We read you. Do you read us, Ola? Yes. Who is it? Who are you? Please identify yourself. My name is Major Eugene Denton, United States Air Force. There are four of us. We got two men, a woman and a boy. We're near a large body of water. Can you locate us? Your signal is loud and clear, Major. You're 17 miles from us on a heading of 81 degrees. Do you have transportation? Yes, yes, I do. I understand you've got us on a reading of 81 degrees. I'll come to you on the reverse heading of 261. <laughs> Get off that back. We're going to town for pizza and beer. Be back by dark. Tana. Tana, come back here. Tana, come back here. Major Denton, do you read me? Oh, yes, Albany. I, I read you. We are sending you uh, an emissary. His name is Tana. Please don't take him as an example of the rest of our party.
Thanks for watching. Good night, folks. watching BTV. Throw me. What is it? Oh. <laughs> Here we are, senor, from soup to lunch. <laughs> Ran in two squadrons of bombers. Heichel 111s. Protective cover one squadron and Messerschmitt 110s. The time we intercepted them, we were at the limit of our range. Jerry, of course, was planning the raid and figured on that. But the result that we just couldn't hang on long enough. I think we got two 110s. I'm not sure, but they were probably. Oh. Now listen to me, all of you. You too. <laughs> Spend your time building up new rackets. So that when McLaren comes up for air, you find a dozen more guys. I didn't try and... Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Why, Oscar, how in the world did you get in here? Uh. <laughs>
Thanks again for dropping in, and we hope you've enjoyed the evening as much as we've enjoyed having you here. Till next time, please drive carefully, and good night now. is W.